What's going on guys, it's Brad here from GigaPress and in today's video, I'm gonna show you two simple solutions to WordPress asking you for your FTP credentials. So what this usually looks like is after you try to install a new theme or a plugin or try to update something, WordPress is gonna say to perform the requested action, WordPress needs to access your web server, please enter your FTP credentials to proceed. So this problem results from WordPress having insufficient permissions to modify the files on your server. So I'm gonna show you two very simple solutions to this. Both will require editing your WP config file. Uh, so I would recommend clicking the link in the description below to pull up the text version of this tutorial. That way you can just copy and paste the code that I'm gonna give you from right here. So we'll start by connecting to our website via FTP. I'm using FileZilla here. You can also log into your web hosting account and go to the file manager. And from the root directory, you're gonna to go to whatever folder WordPress is installed in. So for most people, this is gonna be public HTML. From here, you're gonna find wpconfig.php. Go ahead and open that up to edit it. Now, once again, click the link in the description to pull up the text version of this tutorial. We're gonna start here with method one. So you're just gonna copy this code right here. And what this is gonna do when you add it to your WP config file is it's gonna force WordPress to use the direct PHP method for automatic updates and installations and things like that, rather than utilizing FTP. So because it's no longer utilizing FTP, it's no longer gonna ask you for your FTP credentials. So copy that code and within your WP config file, scroll down until you find the line that says, that's all, stop editing, happy blogging. Right above that line, you're gonna paste in the code that you copied from that article. Now from here, we're gonna save and when we're prompted, we're gonna re-upload the file to the server. And then you'll wanna go back to your website, log back in, and take whatever action you were trying to take before, whether that's installing a theme, installing a plugin, updating something, whatever it is, just go and re-attempt that action. If it works, then you're good to go. If not, then go back to your WP config file and remove the code that we just added and instead, we're gonna go back to that article and go to method two. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna add your FTP credentials directly to the WP config file so that WordPress has them. So we're gonna copy this code and paste it in in the exact same location. And here you just wanna make sure that you replace your username, password, and FTP host with your actual credentials. Now this is usually gonna be ftp.yourdomain.com and then your username and password is whatever you set up for your FTP account with your web host. If you're unsure about any of this, check with your web hosting company, they will be able to help you out. But once you've configured this, WordPress should stop asking you for your FTP credentials. And once again, same thing here, save, and re-upload, and then you should be good to go. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped you out. If it did, I would love it if you would drop a like and subscribe for more WordPress content.